Hello everyone, Lego Lover 117 here, and right now we're in for another Thomas Wooden Railway review. And this review is on the Sodor Cargo Company cargo piece. You know what? No. No, I just I just can't do this anymore. You know, I've done so many reviews in the past week or so. I I'm running out of items to do, obviously, so now I'm gonna do this? I'm gonna review this? No, I'm not gonna review this. Who reviews a cargo piece? I mean, it's not like I have anything else to review. I mean, I've reviewed almost every item in my collection. I mean, for God's sake, what am I supposed to review? I mean, I just... I just need a break. Not a break from making YouTube videos entirely, but a break from Thomas Wooden Railway reviews. I've done so many. I'm almost at 50, so... I just need a break. But... If I'm not going to review Thomas Wooden Railway items anymore, what can I review? I mean, I can do a movie review, but, you know, I'm not that good at it. <laughs> that would take, you know, scripts, planning, watching the movie, actually, and, uh, you know. <sighs> I'm not really sure what I would want to review. Hmm. I guess I could do an Ertl review. I mean, no one's really done an Ertl review. Well, besides Josh, but who watches Josh's videos anyway? You know what? Let's do an Ertl review. Why not, right? Now the question is, which Ertl should I review? Pick me. Pick me. Your favorite a episode was based off of me. You should pick me, because it would be the great western way, and not the wrong way. I appeared in like, one special, I don't know why you'd pick me. What are you doing in the swamp? Yep, that one. Hello everyone, I'm LegoLover117, and welcome to this review on Ertl Douglas. So let's jump right into the history on this item. Ertel Douglas was first re released in 1992, along with his twin, Donald. These two were sold in two packs in following years. They were both repackaged and remodeled until Ertel's demise in some time late to 2005, 6, or 7. I couldn't find the exact date. And now let's move on to my model of Ertel Douglas. Starting off with the model, the detail is absolutely magnificent. Magnificent. You can't see it on the camera here. Well, I guess you can see it, but you can't feel how this model feels. I mean, like, little indents on the boiler here. You can feel all of that. You can feel the nameplate, like it's an actual plate that's on the side of it. It's not, like, painted on there or anything. And that's something that I applaud Ertl for, is pretty much the fact that they were able to get so much that they were able to get such a great feel to an item. Another thing I really like about the Ertles is the fact that they have coupling rods, and that's something that Take and Play and Wooden Railway was never able to get, was coupling rods, and that's pretty awesome. I mean, Trackmaster sort of has coupling rods, but nothing like this. I mean, it's just a white strip, and it is so simplistic and so awesome. Let's take a look at the bottom here. As you can see, there's Earl on the bottom there. And this particular Douglas is dated 1992. Right there. The face absolutely captured Douglas, really. I mean, this is Douglas pretty much. Now, one of the negatives I'll point out with the Ertles is the fact that the model is all one piece. What do I mean by that? Well, that's because you try to play with him on the floor or anything, his tender isn't separate. If we take a look at the wooden railway Douglas here, you can see the tender comes off. It's one separate piece. And wooden railway Douglas is able to, you know, move around more easily than the Ertel Douglas is. You can see the Ertel Douglas is all one piece, so it looks kind of awkward if you try to get him to turn or anything like that. This isn't a big issue with, like, Stepney or one of those characters, but with characters like Douglas, Donald, Gordon, Henry, their tenures are attached and you can't remove them, and that's a pretty big flaw in my opinion. 
One other flaw that I will point out, Bertle's coupling system, it's not the best. It's not like, you know, magnets like the wooden railway or taken blade or the uh, way that the Trackmaster does it. Um, I'm not even sure how these couple up. I mean, is it like a rod or something that you use? It's actually kind of faulty. And that's why I see these as collector's items. They're not toys, they are collector's items. Kind of like the Star Wars Black Series figures. Those aren't meant for children, those are meant for collectors. And that's why I see with the Ertl line. They aren't meant for children, they're meant for like people like me who just want them to put them on their shelf or something. Overall, I would say that Ertl Douglas is a pretty good model and I would rate him a, a, about an 8 out of 10. He also gets himself a pretty high recommend as, well, I love the Ertl line pretty much. Well, that was a breath of fresh air. It's kind of nice to actually take a look at an Ertl model for once. So yeah, that was Ertl Douglas's review. I hope, I hope you enjoyed watching it as I enjoyed making it. So I think what I'm gonna do now is really hello, Oliver. What's up, Diggle? There's been a development. With what case? The Vertigo case. It's back in the streets. More so than ever. There's a deal going on right now. You think they can expect a visit from the hood? Dig. He can count on it.